what do you think of the plastic bag tax? Idiotic. I think it's going to cost me a fortune. Will it change your behavior of how you shop? It might, it might, might not. I, I, I almost can't be bothered, but five cents is a lot of money per bag. It should be a penny a bag at the most. I think um, for people who have large families, we need to shop regularly. I can't carry boxes. It's too heavy. It's too difficult for me. So I need to shop by carrying bags. And I have no choice, so I don't know why we pay enough taxes in this city, city and state, that we know we'd only be encumbered by additional things for buying groceries in the city and by giving money for the economy. We shouldn't have to be taxed again. What are you holding over here? I used to have an opinion on these things, but I just stopped caring about them. I just think all taxes are crazy. Oh, he looks like the type of guy. What do you think of this bag tax? I think it's ridiculous. It's uh, not a proper way of making money. If you want to make money, tax the proper things. Don't go after plastic. Now, will it change the way you shop? Probably. I'll probably stop working out with shopping carts. I don't want to spend money on plastic bags. What do you think of this new bag tax that the city just... Terrible! Not fair to the vendors. Not fair to the people. Not fair for the economy. Well... It's an absolute disaster. Excuse me. The city is, is, is taking advantage of it, the people. What is this business? The city's got to gotta help out the people, not school people over, man. This is getting out of hand already with the city. I'll, I'll, I'll send the last year out of his house, man. You better watch out. Chill city, man. Well, I never stop buying bottles because I get the five cents on the thing, so why should I stop when I get the bags five cents? Well, another way of the city making money is off the people. They always say, like, the global warming, this is another one of those things. I think it's terrible. I think uh, people are already, uh, as it is, are struggling to pay their grocery bills. And I don't think a uh, five cent bag is a uh, five cents a bag is uh, I don't think it's necessary. But not everyone can take boxes on the train with them or on the bus or walking with the carriage. You can't take a box. Now, are there any plans for you to be selling uh, reusable bags? Um, it's something that we might look into if uh, the law passes. But. Uh, Oh, no, time will tell. Very frustrating. Can't win them all. Don't keep fighting. Thank you very much. Bokarabo. You know, it's very frustrating. This is something that's going to punish working families, especially folks in communities like ours that have large families. You go out, you're shopping, you look at a typical basket, people are walking out with 20 bags. That's an extra dollar that you have to pay once or twice a week. And that's real money for a lot of people. And so I was very much opposed to it. We tried our best. Unfortunately, the sponsors of this bill, Brad Lander in particular, and Margaret Chen, they built a coalition where they got the majority of the votes. We came close, we had 20 no votes, but they got the 28 that they needed to pass this law. But this law, there's no question that it's unfair. There's no question that it hurts the poorest New Yorkers and working New Yorkers, and it just doesn't even work. If you really want to make sure that there are no plastic bags, they would have banned plastic bags. If they only cared about plastic bags, they wouldn't be taxing paper bags as well. And so we have a situation where, after the summer, paper and plastic bags are going to be taxed, even though many of us in the council, 20 of us, are vehemently against it. Now there are rumors that uh, Senator Felder, from a state level, is working on some creative thing to ban it. it. I hope it he does it, absolutely. You know. I think Senator Felder is a great senator, and if he could convince the state to stop this, I think that's the right thing to do. And so, certainly, I hope he gets it done. So, but so, from a legal standpoint, there is there is a, there is a way for the state to override the city. I think that the state could override the city. It's not an easy process, obviously, but certainly Senator Felder has said that he plans on doing it, and I hope that he is successful. It certainly was frustrating. We had a debate today for two hours on the floor of the city council. We pointed out that in other cities that have done it doesn't reduce plastic bag use. We pointed out that there's no reason why they should be charging for paper bags. We pointed out that the law actually allows them to charge much more than five cents. They claim it's five cents, but the law allows them to charge whatever they want. We've heard of stores actually that are planning on charging 25 cents a bag. 
and that's just not right. It's not fair. Living in New York is very expensive as it is to tax people when they're buying food for their families. That's really wrong, and it's really frustrating, and it's unfortunate. We fought the good fight. We had 20 people on our side, but they had 28, and unfortunately they were victorious today. You know, the final point I want to make is, and I, I think it's terribly elitist, when we heard today people are saying, oh, look at me, I have a bag in my pocket that I take everywhere. Who are you? You're one person who's single, without any kids, you eat out every day, you go shopping once a week, you buy a half a dozen eggs and a half a gallon of milk. Come on. In communities like mine, we have people, can I know her, six, seven, eight, nine, ten kids. What are they supposed to do? Store 50 reusable bags in their house? Schlep them to the store and carry them? It's not even practical. I read a story in Hamodia over Yom Tif, a woman with six kids lives in a two-bedroom apartment. She actually said that she buys her kids cheap clothing because she doesn't want to store them. It's one-time clothing. She throws them out because she has no room in her apartment. That's what we're dealing with. It's really wrong and it's unfair and that's why I'm opposed to it.